Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're just gonna give a little bit of a Team USA update. It has been so long since Team USA has played, uh, but we finally have our schedule out. Um, hope to see you guys at some of our events upcoming in the fall. Um, but as for me, I'm just excited to have something to finally train for. So just a little bit of a Team USA deep dive for the next 17, 18 months. So you guys can mark your calendars um, and hopefully we can see you there. So first things first for US, um, our World Cup has been postponed for a year because of coronavirus and the global pandemic. Rightfully so, this summer just really wouldn't have, would have been pushing it. We most likely couldn't have had fans at our games. Um, a lot of countries would have had difficulty getting into the US and we just wanna make sure the event is safe for everyone. So totally makes sense to have postponed it from this summer to next summer. Uh, so next summer we will be July, uh, June 29th through not, uh, July 9th is World Cup. That will be in Towson, Maryland. So like. 20, 30 minutes away from my house right now, which is awesome. Um, and then World Games, which is where we'll be playing the Olympic Sevens rules, is uh, July 7th through 17th in Birmingham, Alabama. So there's a little bit of overlap. Any lacrosse stuff won't happen until after World Cup is done, um, but there will be a smaller team going from World Cup to World Games. It could be a completely different team. We're still trying to figure that out, but it, whatever team it is, it will be a lot smaller roster size. So we finally have our World Cup dates, which is awesome. Something to mark our calendars for and something to train for, for finally for the next 17, 18 months. Um, as far as our training schedule for 21, that's still a little bit up in the air. Um, we have tryouts this June and then we're trying to figure out what fall looks like. Um, my guess is we'll have two to three different events um, going on in October, November, September, sometime in there. And then hopefully we'll be able to play um, our spring premiere, which usually happens in January, um, right before World Cup. So we have a lot to look forward to. We haven't played together since November, like 19th of 2019. Um, so June tryouts will be the first time that we're together in, gosh, like 19 months, um, which it feels like so long and it is so long. Um, so we're just so excited to get out there and get playing. We have a lot of young college kids coming in, which is gonna be awesome. We have some veterans like myself um, in the mix too for tryouts. It'll be a pool of about 50 players. Um, and I think all of us, whether it's our first time at a US event or our 50th, we're just excited to get out and compete. It's been so long since we've been able to rock anything sort of USA and compete and be on the same field as each other and play. And I know that even though it's a tryout situation, we're, gonna, we're just gonna be ready to go. So all of, my, all of our fans, um, all of the people who watch this channel, mark your calendars June 29th through July 9th in Towson, Maryland, and then July 7th through 17th in Birmingham, Alabama. We want fans at these events. It's such an amazing experience to be a part of this, whether you're watching or playing. And the more people that are there cheering for the red, white, and blue, or Australia, or England, or whatever, whoever you wanna cheer for, the better. Um, so mark your calendars, and then hopefully we'll see you at some of our training weekends throughout the fall of 2021 before we compete, what are the 18 of us, the 18 people who are chosen to compete. So, Mark your calendars, see you next time, um, and go USA.